Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of YouTube. As the first video on this channel, I'm going to spend a few minutes discussing the purpose of this channel and why I'm going back to the basics of artwork and the rekindling of a dream. You see, when I was young, drawing was always a huge part of my life. I can't remember precisely when I started, but I do remember always drawing. I was also big into making my own things, you know, stories, settings, characters, and games. I remember working with a friend all the way back in grade school where we made our, our very own custom Star Trek board game where you fought with ships, which we also had to make all these different ships. It was simple, but it was fun, and I still kept a copy of it today. I remember the first time I ever played a pen and paper role-playing game. I was only eight years old, but within a week, I made my own from scratch. I had rules and characters and artwork and, you know, a simple story and everything. You know, it may not have been a masterpiece, but it showed a, a strong desire to create. You see, creating has always been an intrinsic piece of who I am. And artwork has always been the cornerstone of that. But along the way, you know, my direction was lost. Seems to happen to a lot of people. It seems that life does not always go in a straight line or as planned. When I entered college, I was pushed away from art due to family fear of the starving artist. Air quotes there. I made the decision that if I couldn't do what I wanted to do, then I would just do something that made good money instead. Man, what a mistake. Worse, I gave up drawing for the first year or two of college. I found myself getting depressed and upset, but not knowing why. One night, I had a dream where I was looking at myself from a third-person perspective, where I was sitting at a drafting table with a light, and everything else is dark, and I'm just sitting there drawing this picture. I have no idea what the picture was, but that wasn't the point. And I never saw what the picture was. The point of the dream was that I needed to draw. I needed to create. It didn't matter what. I just needed to do it. It was like my subconscious, my subconscious was telling me to get back to it. So I woke up knowing I had to start again. That began a journey, a long journey. Often, sometimes I've had to set aside my artwork for the sake of my wife and my kids whether spend more time with them or maybe to go take another job with long hours. I want to be clear, I would never sacrifice my family for my artwork, but the real truth is I shouldn't have to. Instead, I should be sacrificing those other things that unknowingly steal your time if you let them. You know, scrolling Facebook, getting lost, watching new and exciting things on YouTube over and over without end, playing games too long, being inefficient and unfocused. Indeed, life does not always go in a straight line. It's time for me to step back, reassess, and make a course correction. It's time to rekindle a childhood dream. Now, I'm not completely new to artwork. I had talent before I stopped drawing. And since I started drawing again, I managed to work myself to a position where I do commissions. I do pet portraits and people portraits, and I do custom illustrations along with my own personal work. But it's not a full-time business. Throughout doing these commissions and my personal work, I can see areas where I struggle. Perhaps I should have been able to complete the project faster. Perhaps there are areas where I could have done better. Perhaps both. Equally important, doing commissions is not doing my own projects. And I want to do my own projects. Ever since I was a child, I always want to do my own thing. But I know I need to be faster and better to really bring my ideas to life. So I'm going back to basics. My first major goal is to level up my artwork. I don't want to just be okay. I don't want to necessarily be better than anyone else. I just want to be the best that I can be. Whatever that is, I want to reach it. And I know that's a lifelong journey, but it has to begin in earnest right now. I'll accomplish this through a personalized home-based curriculum I developed. Some of the resources I'm using are free. Some of them are paid, but I'll, I'll go into that in a separate video, including like the entire curriculum and why I chose what I did and all the resources there and what inspired me to 
create it in the way that I did. This curriculum will take years to complete. But what excites me about it is that it gives me smaller goals to accomplish. I want to have those small goals so I can feel like I'm moving forward. This gives me the feeling that I'm actually making progress, which is true either way, but you want to know it. It also gives me the peace of mind that I know what I need to do and I have the resources identified to do it. I don't have to try to plan the next step every time I finish a step. I already have my path marked out, even if I can adjust that path as I go. Along the way, I want to develop a community of people who can support and encourage each other. You know, there's room for all of us, so let's grow together. This is my second goal. Okay, I'm coming back during editing, and I want to clarify this a bit. Why do I want to develop a community? This is actually a childhood dream. You see, at a very young age, I was frustrated that I did not have any real art mentors. Like, can you imagine a world where YouTube doesn't exist? It happened, literally, in my childhood. As far as friends go, I had one really good art friend as a kid who... I remember being amazed at how he drew muscles and warriors and warrior angels and stuff. And he was big into the same kind of fantasy artwork like I was, but we lost touch after high school. We connected later on and he had, he ended up moving away from his artwork. And as far as my family goes, I heard a lot about starving artists. I could just end it right there, right? I heard a lot about starving artists, and that's not a way to motivate me. You see, I don't run from fear. I run towards hope. My art teachers at school didn't qualify as art mentors either, really, at least in my case. Actually, one of them, I remember being especially hard on me. I'd see his review of a person, you know, sitting next to me in class and, and he'd tell them, wow, that's very good. And then he'd come to my desk, which is literally touching there. So it's like right next to it. And he comes to my picture and he says, oh, you messed this up. This line isn't straight. That doesn't look right at all. You should do this again. And, you know, I was self-aware enough, even at that time, to know that my artwork was significantly better than the person sitting next to me. You see, I found out later on he was just trying to push me because he actually saw that I had talent. I just didn't know that at the time. My reaction as a kid was that the teacher obviously didn't know what he was talking about, so I never took more classes from him. And I feel bad about that. He was trying. I just wish I knew. I actually, I actually job shadowed that same teacher like eight years after that moment, and I was shocked. He still had some of my artwork as an example for other students, and he was super cool. He was super friendly, and I really regret not taking more of his classes, and maybe that would have given me some more art friends too. And that pretty much sums up the support I received as a kid. But I knew it was possible to make a living doing artwork. I figured I would find a way to make it. And then I would come back and be a guest speaker to art classes and encourage kids that they can reach their goals and then give ideas on how to do so. But as I've said before, life doesn't always go as planned. So YouTube will have to do both in helping me realize my own art goals and to help encourage others. My third goal is where I quote unquote rekindle a dream. I will develop my own project, world setting, story. Um, I'll do this alongside my studies, though I'll be more focused on studies at the beginning. This will give me something I can use to apply what I learn while also creating something new. This will fulfill that childhood dream of making something completely my own. Long term, this could be something truly amazing. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe and hit that bell. Join me for the ride, or perhaps join in. Perhaps you can rekindle your own dreams and begin creating again as well. I'd love to hear from you below. Leave a comment.
Do you have dreams or goals that you had to leave behind? Is there a dream you want to rekindle? Are you working on your art skills again? What are you struggling with? What are your goals? With that, take care and God bless.